All right, it's getting kind of smoky in here. <laughs> I think I need to bring this outside and hook it up some water before I really tune it in. Hello, and welcome back to John Bull Outdoors. Today we will be working on this jet ski. If you didn't see the last video, we picked up a jet ski on the cheap. We did a lot of repairs to it. We got it working, we got it running. It was a will it start video and we actually put it on the lake and it worked. However, after we took our, our first joy ride, we found out there was an oil leak that we needed to fix and also the trim cable was broken and so the jet ski would go up and down as you were riding. So we need to fix those two problems. Stick around and let's get into this. All right, I think I have to take the engine out. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. I see there's four bolts, I believe, engine mounts on the bottom. A few disconnects up here. A few wires I got to disconnect. Probably got to take off that carb again. So let's get busy. Here's the uh, manual. Um, uh, here's the removal. You can pause the video if needed. Taking out the carb. Removing the battery. I think I've reviewed. <clears throat> I think I've removed all of the engine mounting bolts. So I'm gonna see if I can shift this forward. Oh yeah, it's coming. I think. All right, this just slides out right here. I believe that's free. Or is it free there? All right, I need to take this electrical box off. I've already taken the four bolts out. That really wasn't too bad at removing that because that allows me to get to this exhaust piece that I need to remove. And once I get past that, then this engine will come out. Well, there you go, look at that. Still some water in there. Let's see if I can remember how to do a bowling. Make a little loop like that, take the bottom of it, go in, around, and back through. Oh, that was first try too. Yeah, buddy. All right, so that'll work. All right, that gives us a lot of room in there. After removing this engine, you can really see how much oil had spilled in here. There's a little bit of water mixed in with that, but it's mostly oil. Definitely a serious leak we need to take care of. But first, let's get this trim cable out of here. We need to remove this plate under here. Six. 10 millimeter bolts. That's, oh shoot, what am I doing? There we go. Okay, okay. inside, wow, that's rubber. All right, I've got most of the uh, oil and water cleaned out of here. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull this uh, trim motor out of here. It should just slide out. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna have a first look at this together. Uh, definitely some crud down there. So this was sitting in the bottom of the hole, flat like this. This looks like the water line all the way around here. So this is, this is probably submerged underwater with a leak. The bilge pump probably didn't work. Oh, that needs to be clean. 
put away right on top. All right, what I'm going to do here is just take a few parts off to get to this trim cable. Cheapest solution would be just to replace this trim cable uh, at this point. A uh, better solution would re be replace this whole unit. I don't think I'm going to try to get it working. Uh, you know, maybe it could be cleaned up, be fixed, but uh, most likely not. So, but we'll see. At the very least, I'm going to start taking it apart a little bit. Every part in here has got some sort of Loctite on it. Even inside this motor. Look at that. We got red Loctite right there. all right folks so this is what we've decided to do this motor is shot the only new one i found well i couldn't find a new one i found a used one on ebay for over 200 dollars. i'm not willing to invest that in this right now so instead we're just going to replace the cable on this put it back together and the trim cable will just have to be set in place unmovable i think the uh, operation of the jet ski will work just fine with that so we will give that a try. And this is what we got here. This is the uh, old cable that broke. You can see right here at the end. Um, that broke off. And here's our new cable. Should look like this. Broke off right there at the base. And this one looks to be in pretty good shape. Even came with some O-rings on there. And the other end of it okay I need to put this back together I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid back on this way this way this way I mean how many there we go that way all right we are back together this is going in the machine Now I've got three pieces of hardware here I gotta deal with. I believe the O-ring goes first. And then we have a washer. One O-ring, one washer. This guy right here. Alright. We'll slide this down. It's not, not screwing in. All right, and this is the moment of truth. This is where we will adjust the trim cable if we need to. Let's hope we, we got it set up at the approximate length to give us enough room to adjust it. I'm just gonna screw it in, say, that far for now. I do not know where the proper position would be. Way up here, too high. Way down here, too low. What do we think? Right in the, this is coming straight out, right about there. So, I mean, that looks almost like right on the money, right there. Uh, you know what? It's not going up or down, right? Here you go, I'll show you this set I got over here. Duratec from eight mil to 19 mil. I mean, not top of the line, but they're bendable. This is what I want, and for hard to reach areas. Hey guys, I'll put a link in the description for this set. I am not sponsored by this company. But these ratchets come in handy when you need them. Well worth the money. Okay, right here is the oil pump. I believe it is leaking from here somewhere. I need to take this off. I don't know if I'm going to replace this, repair it, or delete it. I don't know if this is the original part or not. I believe we're going to put it back on and replace the lines that were leaking and that's where i think the leak was coming from not so much the oil pump itself i mean look at look at this uh this this came off of the machine and look how brittle this is well that one's not going to break for me look how brittle <laughs> there we go that one's super brittle it's already broken there see there you go look how brittle this is yeah so uh, no wonder it was leaking. These these are probably 25 years old. Um, I just happened to have some fuel line that I was using for a chainsaw. 
I believe it's going to be the right size, so I might try to use this. Even though this only oil is going to be going through these lines, this fuel line is, is, is about the right um, stiffness, I believe, and it looks almost exactly the right size. So I have about uh, four feet of this, which should be about right. I think I, I think I need about two feet for each one of these. So, so these are the two uh, lines that come into the carburetor, into the injection. This is the larger line, which goes from the oil uh, reservoir. We might need to replace that one. Uh, we might not. I do have some uh, extra uh, fuel line that we could replace it with if I feel that the old line is, is bad. I haven't checked that one yet. That might work out just fine. That fuel line right there. So this is where the oil pump sits and you can see this slit in there is what drives the pump. That will turn with the engine. I'm assuming that it's timed with the machine so the faster the engine goes the faster the pump is going to send oil out. If this fails and I need to do a delete I can still do this while this engine is in place. It's only two 10 millimeter bolts. I just have to reach around, uh, take these off, and then put a plate right here uh, and seal it down. Um, so that's another easy fix. Um, then you just gotta mix your fuel uh, ahead of time. But for now, we're gonna see if we can get this working. Just gonna get this up to room temperature, maybe a little bit higher. There we go. You can feel it softening up just a bit. I've gone ahead and put this fuel line on here. I just don't trust this original line here. It is bent the correct way. So it will attach here, come around the jet ski. I don't see any leaks here, but I imagine it's brittle as well. I'm hoping this fuel line will work just as well. All right, I think it's time to lower this engine back in the machine. All right, the engine's back in. We've got the four engine bolts on here. Uh, the drive shaft is hooked up. So let's go ahead and get the exhaust system put back together. Uh, the electrical box put back on. For this exhaust, it can go in and out. I need to at least line this up. Did you guys catch that? I did remove this rag later. Okay, this is the gas line that I purchased. Uh, I'm hoping that I think this will work. That's not going to kink. I'll just tie that out of the way. That should be just fine. Um, here we go. Figure this out. We'll put it in here. Pump. Is that the fuel? What is that? That's the fuel pump. Yes, that's the fuel pump. Battery. And I do not have the flame control guard on top of the carb yet because I may need to tweak uh, the throttle cable a little bit. But I think everything is back together. I'd like to give it a start just to see how it sounds. All right, keys in. So here goes, first start. You see the fuel filling up this filter right here. Let's give that a second more. Getting kind of smoky in here. Oh. <laughs> I think I need to bring this outside and hook it up some water before I really tune it in. That'll be okay. All right, I got a little bit of uh, two cycle oil. We're going to put in this, just to top it off. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Uh, 
I'm gonna get a funnel. All right, now with a funnel. Should be enough. All right, let's turn the water on, give this thing a go. Water is flowing. All right, let's start this thing up. Fix the idle a little bit. Okay, there's a little idle screw in here, and I think I can turn it with my hand. Yep, I can. So let me see if I can turn that about a half turn and see if that keeps it idling a little bit. Do not see any leaks except a little water leak obviously from this coast down there i don't see any oil leaks up there she idles okay and most importantly this trim pieces work time to get around the water but uh, i'd like to go ahead and close this video out we hopefully fix this oil leak it didn't fix the motor up and down but we did fix the trim cable so it it should hold this in place for moving up and down you know there's a few minor things that still need to be done on this a little body damage um, i'm not going to bore you guys with that right now but uh, this is ready hopefully to get back on the water it is late november here so we're not going to do it anytime soon but uh, uh we do have another video coming soon which is this guy over here it needs some carb work it needs some body work it needs who knows what else i think believe it needs some brake uh, maybe a clutch cable work um all kinds of work you know, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when this comes out um so lots of projects here we do have hopefully some big equipment repair coming out soon too but um but thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Yeah, it starts up well. I had to adjust the idle screw slightly so to so get it to idle, but you can just reach down here and turn it. I don't know if that's the way it is. So I think I got it idling well. It builds up here. I'll go ahead Never and thought and that I would have to down. let you go. Tell me how can I forget? If I could travel back in time, I'd lay a blanket full of stars. Brighten up the darkness of our sleepless nights I'd find a way to make you smile about this bilge pump almost forgot about this bilge pump filter i've got two extra bolts you know can't figure out for the life of me where these guys go hello and welcome back to john bull outdoors hey guys today 